Christian's Tailgate Bar and Grill. Food at Houston's Best Burger. Come by any of the five Houston area Christian's Tailgate locations and enjoy never frozen ground beef on a toasted bun with fresh lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, and your choice of cheese. Your award-winning burger is then served with hand-cut fries or buttermilk battered onion rings. Each Tailgate location is a large selection of draft beer and $3 shots. Come early for the game and stay late for karaoke. Christian's Tailgate Bar and Grill with five Houston area locations. From the slightest bend to complex motions, your body is made to move. At Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, our teams are using advanced technology and imaging to develop custom treatment plans, and our minimally invasive procedures can help you heal faster. We have the expertise to keep you moving because every movement matters. Find the care you need at 20 locations throughout Houston. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. The following is a presentation of the Rice Sports Network Network. from Learfield IMG College. On the Rice Sports Network from Learfield IMG College, welcome to Rice Owls Insider. Rice Owls Insider is presented by Christian's Tailgate, voted best burger in Houston, Carbach Brewing Company, crafted for serious fun, IBEW Local Union Number 716, and by Houston Methodist, leading medicine. Now, here's the voice of the Owls, J.P. Heath. And welcome back to another edition of Rice Owls Insider. I am voice of your Rice Owls, J.P. Heath. Gotta love this uh, backdrop. If you're watching on the video side of things. On the show today, we have head baseball coach from our Rice Owls, Matt Braga. Coach, it seems like it's been months since we've last talked. I know, J.P., man. I miss you, man. I miss talking to you. I miss uh, being around the yard with you. Um, first off, I've been asking all the coaches and everybody we have on in this uh, time slot, uh, just how are you doing? How's the family doing? And then from what you've been able to communicate with the team and the guys, I mean, my gosh, we could talk two whole hours on that. But how, how are the guys handling things? Yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, I'm doing good. Um, you know, family's healthy. Everyone's, everyone's doing well. Um, so that, that, that's, been, that's been good. You know, we try to uh, – our family uh, is, is pretty darn good at making, uh, you know, some positives out of negative situations. And so we've had, we've had a, uh, we've had a, we've had a good time, you know, it's, it's slowed things down, you know, our, our kids, our daughter does not, she has virtual dance, but she's not going to dance class four nights a week. Our son, you know, isn't traveling to baseball games every single night to go play or every weekend to go play. And obviously I'm home you know, uh, way more than normal this time of year. I've never seen anything like this. So from a family perspective, it's, it's been wonderful, actually. We've, uh, one of our players, Bradley Knighting, he told me his family was playing a board game, um, like Olympics, uh, gold, three points, silver, two, bronze, one. So I, this is a couple weeks ago. So our family uh, adopted that idea. And we're, we're probably through about 12 different games, inside games, outside games. Even with our hedgehog, we've had him involved, like in hedgehog races, uh, having uh, Olympics. So we've had a great time, really, and and we're doing good, staying really positive. The guys, um, you know, they're doing good. We just had a Zoom meeting uh, last Friday. Um, get to see all their faces. That's really cool, and watch them kind of razz each other a little bit. But moods are definitely a little down now compared to maybe when it first happened. You know, they were joking around a little more on those meetings than maybe they are now, but it's, it's a good group of young men. And, and for the most part, they're staying very positive, staying on top of their classwork and things of that nature. Yeah. You're a, an overly positive guy uh, from, from the little time, the couple of years, I guess we've known each other now. Um, how have you personally tried to make in what's such a negative situation and to try to get some hope and positivity out of this? Well, I think, I think from a coaching perspective, we'd stay, we've stayed very busy. Um, our coaches have had uh, Zoom meetings um, four to five days a week uh, for the past month. So we've stayed incredibly busy trying to look at our roster, look at recruiting, making recruiting calls, not only to players but coaches, things of that nature. Because one thing, JP, when you're busy, idle minds, man, can, can be very uh, – hard to handle but when you're busy your mind isn't idle and so we've kept our staff busy and and we're doing good you know we've we've got a positive outlook on things I've always been that type of person 
Um, and I don't know that that's, I think it's a great thing. I think it's actually a, a, a positive or a strength that I have. Sometimes that can be overly positive, you know, and you got to be careful with that because it's just who I am and it's what I believe. But um, family's doing great, as I mentioned. Our, our coaches are doing good. Um, we're trying to keep a high energy feel to what we're doing. Um, so, you know, we're excited to, to get this thing over with. But at the same point in time, we feel like we're going to come out even stronger through this adversity. Head baseball coach Matt Braga with us. Our regular spot, Christian's Tailgate. Uh, feels weird doing this virtually. I guess we're all getting used to it, Coach. But uh, yeah. the West U location, I forgot to mention this leading off. But uh, cheeseburgers, grilled shrimp salad, you can call them. Uh, a lot of takeout available for our Rice fans at West U location, 832-925-7922. Had to get that in there, Coach. No, we missed it. I love it. I love it. Boy, they got good fries, too, now. Yes. Fries, onion rings. I uh, can't miss the, the burgers as well. Um, the, the big thing I wanted to get with, with your impact, and I know this is not all, I want fans to know, this is not all settled, but with the new ruling the NCAA has handed down, do you have any idea yet about, again, I know it's partially unfair to even ask this or broach the subject, but how that new ruling impacts your guys and who will come back and, and who won't? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's funny. Um, we, we, JP, um, have certainly been in constant communication with our guys. We've reached out to all our seniors in particular because they're the ones that, you know, can choose to move on or not because they're, most of them are graduating. And so, uh, you know, where we're at with that right now is there's a lot of unknowns still. Um, unknowns, what's going to happen with, uh, you know, scholarships, uh, money, things of that nature. Unknowns with what's going to happen with guys and jobs. Unknowns with who – for sure wants to come back who is kind of a little unsure right now, maybe because of an injury or things of that nature. So there are so many question marks. It's almost unfair for me from our seniors perspective to answer that just because of, of all the unknowns. Um, I know that that group, it's six guys. I know that that group is um, incredible group. And, and I know each one of them, um, definitely has some thoughts of, yeah, coach, it, it, it's something we want to do to come back to finish what we started. Because quite honestly, they're not happy with how we started. And, and they don't want their legacy at, at Rice to end with the way we started. Because we're, we're better than that record. There, there's no doubt. And it is, yes, I'm positive, but I believe that with all my heart that we're obviously better than that record shows. And so I think they have a little bit of that on their mind, too. Like, hey, we want the opportunity to come back and, um, and you know, try to, try to finish our career on a really high note. Yeah, and we did not share notes, full disclosure, before this, but that, was, that leads perfectly into my next question because um, you really think it was going to be a, a good turnaround because you saw glimpses and even a lot of that A&M game, the good start by Deskins and – I mean, we're not going game by game here, obviously. We don't have that time. But just I, I really had the feeling, been doing rice baseball long enough, that this had the potential turnaround that the March that's passed us, and now April into May, that would, would have been a drastically different team than the one you saw started. But how did you see that? Yeah, you know, JP, that's – again, it is what it, I, I am who I am. I'm very positive, and I believe, you know, that, that – we had the ability to flip this thing this year to turn this around from, a, from the start we got off to, to be able to finish very strong. Um, you know, you, you look at it and again, you know, we weren't at the moment in February and early March, we're not where we need to be. I mean, Texas tech who was second in the country when we played them, they're better than us right now. But yet, at the same point in time, we had a chance to win two of those games, and one of them we lost in extra innings. You know, Texas, all three of those games, I mean, you look at the scores, look at the boxers, all three of those games, you're within reach. You know, it's not like, oh, my gosh, they just blew our socks off three straight. That is not at all what it was. Then you go to UC Irvine, and obviously a chance to win a game or two there um, against a very good Irvine team. A&M, as you mentioned, you're in that game. And so that is the heck of a schedule. I, I think it was rated ninth, 10th, or 11th strongest schedule in the country through the first 16 games. And, and we're not quite there yet. We're going to get there. We're not quite there yet this past year to handle that. But that's why I was anxious to see what was coming. 
you know, playing, even though these are very good teams, playing Conference USA teams that are honestly probably more equal to Missouri State, who we beat two out of three this year. And a Missouri State team that was just in Super Regionals in 2017. They were just in Super Regionals in 2014. They were in the College World Series the exact same year Rice was in the College World Series. So, and we handled ourselves very well against them. So I would have loved to have seen what would have played out throughout the year. We were battling some injuries. We needed Roel Garcia back. We needed Dalton Wood back. We needed Jack Conlon healthy. I mean, quite frankly, those are three of our top pro, pro prospects from a pitching perspective on our entire team. But without those three, I still felt like our guys were battling like crazy. We had a great group that believed in each other, believed in our system. And who knows? I'd love to see how this thing played out once conference got here. That's a, a good spot to break it here because we are going to get position specific and talk about some of the guys uh, coming up here in just a bit. But again, this is what was the Matt Braga show, now a Rice Owls insider. We filled that time with a lot of guests all throughout the department, but we have the one and the only Matt Braga with us now. Stay tuned, coming up in just a um, a bit. Back right after this on Rice House Insider. What do you do when you need safe, reliable team transportation? You go win. Win Transportation is one of the largest group transportation providers in Texas, a leader in charters, shuttles, and special events of all sizes. Five people or 5,000. Win offers customizable team transportation with a wide range of motor coaches, many buses, and vans. So, for safe, reliable team transportation, do like the owls and go win. Book at gowin.com. G O W Y-N-N-E dot com. Hey, Papa John's here. Who wants a boring sandwich when you can have our new Papadillas at Papa John's? Four exciting flavors, just six bucks each. You're going to love it. Better ingredients, better pizza, better than a sandwich. Papa John's Houston. The lights, the sounds, the cameras, the electricity. If you can feel it, hear it, see it, chances are an IBEW electrician built it. The members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 716 built the things that make Rice University and Houston great. When your next construction project needs to be on time and on budget, it's time to hire IBEW electricians. Learn more at IBEW716.net. Beer needs baseball and baseball needs beer. Good thing Little Woodrow's has plenty of both. Right in the heart of Rice Village, relax over indoor and outdoor games, sports, and drink specials that even college students can't refuse. With weekly trivias, bingo nights, and fun events, there's always something to do at your favorite local watering hole. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay updated on all our upcoming events and specials. Little Woodrow's, the official Rice Owls game day headquarters. At Smart Financial, we think your banking experience should feel like a home run. Since 1934, we have prided ourselves on providing hassle-free services with a game plan that focuses on people, not profits. If you live, work, or go to school at or around Rice University, text RICE to 276-278 to become a part of the winning team. That's RICE to 276-278. Smart Financial, proud sponsor of Rice Athletics, federally insured by the NCUA. Welcome back to Rice Owls Insider and the voice of the owls, J.P. Heath. Hope that you are sheltering in place, washing those hands, and that you and your family are, are doing just fine now. We have gotten used to things here across our, our new setting. Uh, more with Coach Bragg here in just a second, but I want to thank Applied Production Services for uh, being supporters of the owls. When things get back to normal, uh, Applied Production Services, the total event source ready to provide your special event with the expertise needed to make it run smooth and cost efficient, whether it's a, a christening, multi-million dollar oil platform, uh, welcoming foreign dignitaries or throwing a party for 50 or 5,000 of your rice friends, APS can provide the necessary infrastructure and equipment to make your event a success. Uh, for more information, visit Applied Production Services uh, dot com. More with head baseball coach of our Rice Owls, Matt Braga. And uh, you left off at a perfect uh, spot there uh, because I was going to ask you about the, the pitching and I knew Royal Garcia was going to uh, come around eventually, but um, Soli was telling me this number, I'd forgotten it, but nobody on your staff had thrown 20 innings yet, but uh, Deskins had settled down. Brogdon looked like he really had the, the makings of something. So kind of big picture in the sky, evaluate the pitchers and what you liked and what you could still see for improvement. Yeah, you know, I think, I think like I said, it would have been nice to have been healthy on the mound. I think, I think pitching, uh, 
pitching wins games. It is what it is. You want to be really, really good on the mound. And, you know, going into the year, we thought Roel Garcia was going to be fully recovered from Tommy John surgery. And that took a little longer than expected. And, you know, hopefully, Lord willing, he's back healthy, ready to go next spring. And he sure looks like he's going to be on pace to be that way. Um, same with Jack Conlon. Jack was a fourth rounder out of high school, um, a guy we had high hopes for going into the season. And those are things Dalton Wood, he was our best returning guy in terms of stats, numbers, whatever you want to call it, and, and a great pro prospect. So we miss those three guys, JP. It is what it is. We miss those three. Those were big three that we need healthy and we need them on the mound. Now, with that being said, you mentioned a couple of guys. You know, Alex DeLeon is a guy you didn't mention, but he came in from the JUCO ranks. And, uh, you know, he was going on Friday night for us and doing a more than admirable job, for sure. He's a guy that, that knows how to pitch, knows how to change speeds, and has just enough on the fastball, 88, 91, right in that range. And, in, and a great competitor. So we look forward to Alex coming back stronger than ever next year. Blake Brogdon, you talk about a young man that made a jump from freshman year to sophomore year. Unbelievable. I think he threw like an inning and a third as a freshman. And he jumps into our spot on Saturday and just remarkable. I mean, he had some really, really, really special outings this year. And he's only going to get better. He's a worker. He's a guy you'll see out running. If you go towards Cypress Way, you'll see him out running, you know, mile after mile, just because that's what he does. He's a worker, hard-nosed kid, and he's got a dream. He wants to be a professional, and I'm, I'm betting on the guy, you know. So, so really excited, excited about him. You know, we've got some other guys, as I, as I look at our kind of our roster here right now. Um, Kel Boardwine will be back. Drake Greenwood. Drake Greenwood stuck into, uh, snuck into that. And snuck's the wrong word earned that Sunday role as time went and uh, did a phenomenal job. I mean, competed incredibly well in his last outing. I think it was at Texas Tech. Um, I think five innings, we had the lead when he, when he came out of the game. Um, so Drake's a guy I look forward to coming, coming back next year. Kel Boardwine will bring a great veteran presence. You mentioned Brandon Deskins. You talk about a young, live, lefty arm and young man pitcher uh, that, that, that guy's got a chance to be really, really good. He's got to continue to work on some things. But he also made a great jump from, you know, freshman year to, uh, to sophomore year. So those are some guys just off the top of my head that, that had really, uh, really good starts to the season, in my opinion, and guys that made jumps that didn't get a lot of innings the year before. And it's going to be nice to have basically all of our innings back next year. So we're excited about that. And then, J.P., um, we've got a group of four freshmen and, and probably a transfer pitcher or two um, coming in that, that I feel, and again, I'm a very positive guy, but I wouldn't tell you this if I didn't believe it. It's, it's, a, it's a great, great group of young talent coming in, so I'm excited about those guys. Yeah, and just as a refresher, fans that are just popping in, go back and watch the first segment with Coach. We talk about the unknown of how the rosters could look next year, but to my understanding tonight, uh, read or I'm following Kendall Rogers closely that uh, the roster is unlimited like that's flexible but since you brought it up that, that was one other thing I was going to ask you about that how, how does that work next year okay yeah so for next year division one baseball we have uh, 35 like man roster once opening day hit so once February 14th this year got here our roster had to be at 35 27 of those 35 are allowed to be on scholarship. We've got 11.7 scholarships to use for those 27 spots. Moving into next year, we still have, at least at the moment, a 35-man roster. But every senior that comes back does not count against that 35-man roster or against the 27 scholarship limit that are on scholarship limit. So in our case, we have six seniors. So conceivably next year, when opening day hits February 15th, um, we can have a 41-man roster, 35 plus our six seniors. Okay, that makes sense. I'm glad you, you spelled it out like that, and that, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Um, on the offensive side, you just broke down very thoroughly the, the pitching side of things, but no surprise, Trey Cruz uh, was your leading hitter. But for Trey <laughs> – not just the offense, but my gosh, uh, the improvements we saw uh, on the defensive side. He had, he had bulked up a little bit, and obviously the, the draft coming up here 
uh, in the shape that it is will determine Trey's future, but hopefully uh, just want the best for him. But uh, talk about Trey and what you saw from his maturation, because, I mean, obviously, as kind of the, the preseason player of the year that he was, he, he, he played a lot like that the very early stages of the year before we got interrupted there. Yeah, Trey, uh, Trey's a special player. And, you know, you mentioned it. I think physically he got stronger this year. Like, he, there was a physical presence. He had it last year as well, but this year just a little more. There was a physical presence about him that, that uh, you know, from an MLB perspective, who looked good and still a great, great athlete. You're right. Defensively, just continue to improve and improve and get better. Um, offensively, uh, you know, both sides of the plate, switch hitter. Um, has a plus-plus arm across the diamond. He made a play against Texas A&M, our last game of the year, in the six hole between third base and where the shortstop plays. And, I mean, it was, you know, it wasn't Jeter, but it was Jeter-esque. It was Derek Jeter-esque for sure. And uh, he's a special player. Um, my expectations are, um, and I want the best for Trey, obviously, that we will lose him. I, I think, my goodness, if they have five rounds of the draft, if he's not drafted in the top five rounds – then uh, I'll be shocked because, uh, because he should be and deserves to be. And uh, so I believe we'll lose Trey. But, man, I'm excited about losing him because I look forward to what he's going to do with his future. But a great player and a great young man. Yeah, you mentioned that. I actually had my book open to the A&M game. That was a leadoff hitter. And that really yes. set the tone, the defensive, uh, in, that, in that game. A&M did come back to win that one. But uh, what about the rest of the offense? You've already mentioned knighting a little bit with his Olympics board games that he passed on to the uh, Braga family. But uh, hopefully he comes back. But uh, you got Como, Edwards, just however you want to take it. You, I mean, you mentioned some of the newcomers that could be coming next year. But just the guys that we've seen the last couple of years. Uh, yeah, we're, you know, we're, 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 still, we're still a little – I've got a pretty good idea on some of these guys, but, but we're still a little bit in the air with, with our seniors. So from a position player perspective, there are five seniors that can come back. There's, you mentioned them, Edwards, Como, Duluth, Knighting, and Valorier. Those are the five guys. And we're, we're just not 100% sure yet what's going to happen with that. But those are the guys that can come back and would not affect our 35-man roster at all. So it's basically like bonus. You have five. You basically could have five bonus players that, that are that are all very good. Those are very good players and very good leaders and very good young men. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. But you know, beyond that, when you look at our team moving forward, um, there are so many possibilities because a lot will depend when we're putting together a roster. You know, a lot does depend on. You know, is, is Bradley Knighting going to be back? Is Como going to be back? Is, is, you know, Edwards going to be back? So those are a little bit up in the air. So as we finish our recruiting, because that's been the, one of the most difficult things about this, JP, is we still, have, we still had a couple guys to sign this spring. And so you want to be able to go out and watch games and, you know, occasionally coaches are some of our coaches we even miss a midweek game to go out and, and watch and recruit. And we haven't been able to do that. So our homework has been, had to be a little bit different. We have been on the phone and been more in in-depth conversations, maybe more than you've ever had to, because you're now doing video, more like maybe football does, compared to what you're doing in baseball, where you actually go watch the young man physically play. And not that football doesn't do that as well. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying we've, we've relied on video more. We've relied on phone calls more and, and, and referrals and, and opinions more. Um, but that's been very interesting. From a, our team perspective moving forward, you know, ideally, um, you know, you want Como back. You want Edwards back. You want Knighting, Gloria, Duluth back. You ideally want Collins back. Who knows for sure what's going to happen with Justin behind the plate. Will he be back? I, I think if you were to ask him, yeah. But you never know what happens with the professional draft and what happens with those things um you know Combs LaRue those are guys you you know you want back and, are, and look like they should be back because those are underclassmen Bowman Austin Bowman was off to a great start I, we had him hitting right behind Trey Cruz um basically protecting Trey so Bowman should be back you know Daniel Hernandez should be back so you can go on and on with some guys um, you know, in the outfield, you look, you've got Dominic Cox will be back. Antonio Cruz is another guy that will be back. So there's some really good pieces coming back. 
um, that we're excited about. And then with what we're adding to that, we, you know, we've got some position players coming in that, that are young. Um, so you should probably be a couple transfers in there as well. Um, but then four freshmen, you know, position players that are coming in that, that really excited about. And again, I'm a positive guy, but I think when you look at the recruiting class coming in, um, I, I've been coaching for 25 years and it, it, it's going to be, it's going to be one of the better ones that I've ever been a part of. And so now they got to come and do it, right? It, it, it's not just what you see on paper or what they did in high school or junior college or transfer perspective, but they got to come in and do it. But in terms of talent and ability, the class has a chance to be really special. Stay tuned. More coming up with Coach Braga. This segment brought to us by Smart Financial Credit Union. Smart Financial's game plan is simple. People before profits, whether it's saving for retirement, finding your favorite car, buying your dream home, they can help. Text RICE to 276-278 to find out how. We'll wrap it up with Coach Braga right after this here on Rice House Insider. With Houston Methodist Virtual Urgent Care, you can skip the drive and the waiting room and connect to our board-certified providers from your computer, tablet, or mobile phone. Virtual urgent care visits are available 24-7, no appointment needed, even on weekends and holidays. Now you can get the same trusted care you expect from Houston Methodist, wherever you are, whenever you need us. To learn more, visit HoustonMethodist.org. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. The Wyndham Houston Medical Center Hotel and Suites is the preferred hotel for anybody visiting the Medical Center, the Museum District, or Rice University. We offer the largest suites in the Medical Center, complete with full kitchens, and our full-service restaurant and outdoor pool will make your stay complete. We look forward to having you experience the Wyndham Houston Medical Center Hotel and Suites soon. And if you need a group rate or need 10 or more rooms, don't forget to call 713-528-7744. That's 713-528-7744. Big trip on the horizon? Before you depart, you gotta park. The parking spot is a simpler, easier way to navigate airport parking, and you can save when you book online. You're guaranteed a spot, and we even pick you up at your trunk in our yellow and black spotted shuttles and take you straight to the terminal. Parking and saving come full circle at the parking spot. The parking spot, proud sponsor of Rice University. Visit theparkingspot.com to reserve your spot today. Beer needs baseball and baseball needs beer. Good thing Little Woodrow's has plenty of both. Right in the heart of Rice Village, relax over indoor and outdoor games, sports, and drink specials that even college students can't refuse. With weekly trivias, bingo nights, and fun events, there's always something to do at your favorite local watering hole. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay updated on all our upcoming events and specials. Little Woodrow's, the official Rice Owls game day headquarters. You're listening to Rice Owls Insider. Let's rejoin J.P. Heath. Welcome back on Rice Owls Insider, I should say. We have the podcast format as well on Apple, Spotify, and the like, or on YouTube. Uh, these crazy video connections these days, especially in our virtual time. If you're just popping on, no, I'm not at the uh, press box at Reckling Park, but I thought that was an uh, appropriate backdrop. Uh, but this segment brought to us by IBEW, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 716, where passion and skill locks arms with value. Uh, so more on the lighthearted uh, side of things, the uh, personal Coach Braga. Uh, you're always personal. That kind of might have come out wrong. You're always personal. Um, oh, I got it. Uh, you already mentioned some of this, uh, you and the family, filling time with board games. Uh, so you're obviously a competitive guy, ex-athlete. Uh, so what are the board games? What do you like to, to do during when you do have the downtime? <laughs> I'm the only one in our family that likes Monopoly, so we haven't played that yet. So because of how long it lasts. But we play everything from Clue to Fear to, to there's this train game that our family likes. I can't think of the name of it right now, but we've done it all. We've gotten our hedgehog out. We've set up a dragster speedway for him. And then he's, he's like, this is my turn. And we time him with a stopwatch to see how fast he runs it for me. Then Luke and Emmy and Elisa, my girl, my wife goes. And then we compare our times. So we've, we've done it. We've done it all. We've played, uh, you know, volleyball in the, in, in the pool. Like, we've done it all. And we've stayed busy. And, you know, we've practiced. Our son loves baseball. We've practiced a lot of baseball. Our daughter – loves to dance. So I've even, I've even was even in a TikTok with her one day. And, and so uh, we're staying busy and having a lot of fun. We, we've got to see the hedgehog on Twitter coach or on TikTok. Oh. 
<laughs> my, my, my girl, I'll have to, I'll have to get it. She's got it. She's got it filmed. I'll have to, I'll have to put it out there. I just like animal humor, I guess. I just like seeing that. Um, yeah. uh, any Netflix Hulu binges? Any show you watch Tiger King or whatnot? Are you too classy for Tiger King? I'm like, no. Hey. <laughs> I've, I've, I've heard about it. And, and uh, we've decided to skip Tiger King, but it doesn't mean I'm going to judge anybody that's watching it. I promise you. But, uh, but no, you know, the funny thing with me is um, I forget names of shows. Uh, our fa- oh no, our family and I just got through maybe a week or so ago watching something called Lock and Key, and I think it was on Netflix. Uh, good, that's a pretty good show now. So, so that's something we're watching. Um, we we big into movies. Something I've done, JP. Um, I'll uh, oh, oh, our family's watching the Fast and the Furious uh, series. Okay. And we're like on episode seven coming up. We didn't really love the Tokyo one so much. The number three wasn't as good as the rest. But, uh, but we're enjoying those because we've never seen those. So we're having a great time watching those. Um, I, I've gotten into just occasionally, t- five minutes here, ten minutes there, watching like mountain climber movies, like people climbing Everest and, and uh, you know, some of those. It's been, I've enjoyed those. So it's been, it's been interesting. What about uh, any books, podcasts? You try to work out a little bit more, get out of the house for a walk. What do you like to do? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I told our team three, four weeks ago on Zoom that, uh, that I was going to try. Now, uh, try is the, is, the, is, the, is the right term there. Try to get in the best shape that I've been in a long time. And so um, it, it's pretty easy with our family because they all like to do things. They all like to be active. They all like to work out. So I've been running three or four days a week, um, and, and I've been lifting a little bit, just, you know, at home with little weights that we have. Um, so, so trying to do some things like that, stay active. Um, we, but, but here's the deal when you're at home and my girl cooks really good, it's like, they kind of, they nullify each other. You know, I worked out to, uh, but then I just ate, you know, and, and our daughter loves to bake. Emmy loves to bake. So, so, and it's great for Luke, our son, cause he wants to gain weight, weight. It's bad for me cause I'm trying, I don't want to gain weight, but, but we, it's, it's been an interesting time. And, you know, it's one thing, JP, and I know this wasn't in your question, but, you know, um, hopefully uh, this thing continues to go uh, like they plan and we're able to get back to normalcy soon. This will be a time I'll never forget. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I mean that in a, in a positive way. Like, I mean that in a way that it, our family has slowed down and, and it's, been a, it's been a great time. And now don't get me wrong, I'm working. Like, I haven't put the phone down since 8 o'clock this morning. I'm working. We're working hard for Rice Baseball in this program, getting this program back and where it needs to be. Um, but at the same point in time, the slowdown is something unique. Probably will never see it again. But I, as a, as a husband and a dad, I am taking every bit of advantage of it that I can. Coach, you the best. I miss you. And hopefully we'll see each other sooner rather than later. But uh... – yeah, it's just been tough, but I know you make the best of it. So I think we can all take an example from you and the family. But appreciate the time and can't wait to see you again, all right? I love you, JP, man. Miss you, bud. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Stay tuned. More, I'll wrap up uh, the Rice House Insider right after this. What do you do when you need safe, reliable church transportation? You go when. Wind Transportation is one of the largest group transportation providers in Texas, a leader in charters, shuttles, and special events of all sizes. Five people or 5,000. Wynn offers customizable church transportation with a wide range of motor coaches, many buses, and vans. So, for safe, reliable church transportation, do like the owls and go win. Book at GoWin.com, G-O-W-Y-N-N-E.com. Hey, Papa John's here. Who wants a boring sandwich when you can have our new Papa Diaz at Papa John's? Four exciting flavors, just six bucks each. You're going to love it. Better ingredients, better pizza, better than a sandwich. Papa John's, Houston. Christian's Tailgate Bar and Grill voted Houston's best burger. Come by any of the five Houston area Christian's Tailgate locations and enjoy never frozen ground beef on a toasted bun with fresh lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, and your choice of cheese. Your award-winning burger is then served with hand-cut fries or buttermilk battered onion rings. Each Tailgate location is a large selection of draft beer and $3 shots. Come early for the game and stay late for karaoke. Christian's Tailgate Bar and Grill with five Houston area your locations. This refreshing message brought to you by Love Street Cold Style Blonde. 
If you're in the mood for something new that's not really new and actually feels like it's been around the whole time, then take a trip down Love Street. This easy drinking, anytime Cole style blonde goes great with your favorite record and favorite people. It's a refreshing beer and a state of mind. But I'm just a voice on the radio. You should try it out for yourself. All you need is Love Street. Brewed with love in Houston, Texas at the Carbach Brewing Company. At Smart Financial, we think your banking experience should feel like a home run. Since 1934, we have prided ourselves on providing hassle-free services with a game plan that focuses on people, not profits. If you live, work, or go to school at or around Rice University, text RICE to 276-278 to become a part of the winning team. That's RICE to 276-278. Smart Financial, proud sponsor of Rice Athletics, federally insured by the NCUA. And that'll do it for another edition of Rice Owls Insider. Hope these have been as enlightening for you as they have been for me. Just, uh, I mean, we got the connections, we've got the knowledge and relationships with all the coaches, but just feel like this is uh, special in a, a new and unique way. I mean, the only way we can manage now to get in contact with all the coaches across Rice University, but still uh, just peels back a lot of storytelling and a lot of uh, good insight and appreciate uh, Matt Braga very, very much. But uh, coming up next in the next few editions of Rice Owls Insider, no particular order, but we have uh, track coaches, Jim Bevan and John Warren going to be on. And we're also going to talk, get my serve ready, uh, some tennis with um, Elizabeth Schmidt and F.A. Houston Todd. We'll talk some tennis, uh, the Owls and um, there are a couple others that aren't off exactly, I don't have them written down, but we do have some other uh, special guests coming up here in the next uh, few weeks. The traditional home of the Matt Braga show in this time slot that we usually have. But um, right now we adjusted. Uh, appreciate Coach adjusting and, and coming on today as well. But thanks to Christians Tailgate once again. Uh, please support them during this time. Um, as things are trying to get back to normal, eventually, as Coach mentioned, flattening that curve, trying to get things back to normal, uh, please support um, small businesses in general, but Christian's Tailgate for being a, a great sponsor with us at Westview location that we usually have the show at, uh, 832-925-7922. They're doing uh, takeout and having their special set up there where they can drop off the great grub. Coach mentioned the fries, love the onion rings, the burgers, they have salads, some wraps as well too. Uh, but 832-925-7922, uh, white claw six packs, four pack single serve, wine bottles and domestic singles, buffalo chicken wraps, fried pickles, quesadillas, on and on of course the cheeseburgers and salads as well. Um, also wanna thank a great sponsor of Rice University, uh, Through the Thick and Thin, Carbock Brewing Company. Uh, proudly brewed in Houston, 2032 Carbach Street, Carbach. It's crafted for serious fun. Do you have any questions about Rice Athletics? Well, you can email riceathletics at rice.edu. Uh, we covered a few weeks ago with Joe Carlgard, athletic director, what is happening with the ticket situation. But if there's just something that pops up and you want to know, you can email them riceathletics at rice.edu. And as always, listen to Rice House Insider uh, in podcast format, Spotify, Apple, and the like, and on our YouTube channel as well. A um, lot of great former guests as well. Last week we had Mike Bloomgren. Before that, Tina Langley. We had Scott Perra, And I already mentioned the uh, great guests we have coming up in the next few weeks as well. But that's it for now. Have a great rest of this day or night, depending on how you're listening and or watching. God bless. Go Owls. And we'll talk to you on the next edition of Rice Owls Insider. On the Rice Sports Network from Learfield IMG College, you've been listening to Rice Owls Insider. Today's show was presented by Christian's Tailgate, voted best burger in Houston, Carbach Brewing Company, crafted for serious fun, IBEW Local Union Number 716, and by Houston Methodist, leading medicine. The preceding has been a Learfield IMG College presentation on the Rice Sports Network.